Hello and welcome to a special edition of Just Books with the great Wilbur Smith, thriller writer, a writer who's brought Africa to life for millions of readers. He's touring India at the moment to launch his 33rd novel called Those in Peril. Will Smith, delighted to have you here. It's a country you love, your fifth visit to India, your, though your first professional book tour. And Those in Peril, your 33rd novel, brings to life a macabre scene in South Africa, a country you've known all your life, where you live part of the year. But it's really Wilbur Smith entering a, or, or portraying a very go gory tale set in 21st contemporary, contemporary world. Uh, what took you into this hair-raising story of Somali pirates on the high seas? Well, it's so topical, and it, it, it was my kind of story. I was, I, I was outraged by what is happening in the Indian Ocean, in Indian territorial waters, in the open, uh, in the open sea, um, where these people are committing terrible atrocities and getting away with it, and in fact uh, becoming heroes in their own country. And so it's not a story of pirates, it's a story about a woman who loses her teenage daughter to piracy and her, um, her efforts to rescue her daughter and the men whose aid she en enlists in that endeavor. So it's, it's a, my kind of story. It's your kind of cliffhanger, isn't it? Oil tycoon's daughter clash between the rich and the poor, piracy on the high seas, and plus lots of steamy sex and brutality. <laughs> uh, yes, well, that is true. Um, the, the those elements that you mentioned there, I, I like to think about them as not pornography but eroticism, not brutality but the natural uh, art play of the story. I'm fascinated. The only thing that shocks me and totally fascinates me is cruelty. Cruelty of man to man, man to animals, and uh, man to other nations. Nations of men to other nations. So all those things are in the story. Cruelty, what an interesting word, because when you look back at, at growing up, your childhood, mm. and your father was a great big rancher in uh, contemporary, formerly southern Rhodesia, several hundred thousand acres, and and he was a big game hunter and a really tough, ruthless guy, wasn't he? Uh, would you think of, of Bert Smith, your late and great father, as a harsh, even cruel man? Uh, no, he had great humanity. He understood other people. He worked well with people. Um, uh, those around him, his, his employees, um, worshipped him in a way, as I did. He uh, was a man that got the job done. He was ruthless in the fact that he, he didn't take excuses, he didn't take malingering or um, any sloppy work. He uh, was an achiever. And, it, um, and a big game hunter. Big game hunter, yes, and that's why he was a conservationist. Because the uh, hunters very often become conservationists. If you take Jim Corbett, he was a hunter here in this country, a, a, a killer of, of tigers. But now the uh, Corbett is named after him. If you take uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, he was a hunter. But most of the uh, national parks of North America are at his behest. Um, the Kruger National Park was named after Paul Kruger, who was a great hunter. So hunters understand the animals. They understand that animals must be part of our world. Africa, the Africa that you conjure up uh, since your first big success, When the Lion Feeds, which came out in 1964, uh, is really in many parts a distillation, a recreation of your own childhood in those wild open spaces with your remarkable father on this great ranch in southern Rhodesia. Uh, and yet it was in some ways a difficult childhood too, liberating, but you had periods of long sickness. Uh, no, I had, I had the, the, uh, some of the diseases that went with living in tropical Africa in those days before it was controlled properly. And malaria was the great thing that we all suffered from. In fact, my mother was deaf because she used to have to take 21 grains of um, quinine, quinine every day and it destroyed her hearing. I had um, uh, 
uh, cerebral malaria when I was 12 days old. And uh, the doctor said to my mother, don't worry, the child is going to die. But that's a good thing because if he lives, his brain will be destroyed. And he was half right because you have to be a little bit uh, of a quink in your head to become a writer as for a living. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.